All right, um, I'm going to show you how to use keyframe animation with, with Cinema 4D. Okay, so we're going to bring a box in here. Love bringing the boxes in. Okay, so we're going to set its initial keyframe at zero. And now, if you wanted to do something, you want to move it to a, a certain point, let's say 10. And move it right there then set another keyframe and you click this key and then you can move it back and forth see what it does uh, the next one we're gonna go over here whoops see how I didn't move it so I gotta put the key to 10 to 20 the keyframe to 20 and now I'll move it to wherever I want here gonna rotate it to And then I'm going to hit keyframe. And that's how it works. Now, say if I'm going to remove it here, but now I'm going to enlarge it. I'm going to add keyframe. You see what happens. Look at that. It enlarged throughout the whole thing. So how do we fix this issue? Very simple. Instead of using the keyframe, we use the auto keying, which is the second button here. So auto key records everything. So we so I'm gonna shrink this first. Right? Whoops. Uh, I should auto keyed it. I'm gonna auto key it gonna move it here at this point I want to increase it and then click off of it and look at that the size goes small big and that's what auto keying does and that's basically it but let's bring something else more uh, realistic instead of a box so I'm gonna go ahead and close this Close it all. Oops. Just gonna close. I'm not gonna save it. I am going to bring in. This is Yang from Ruby. Um, I did what I could to it. Now, if you wanted to animate her, the best thing to do is, is go to Windows and bring in the timeline and this will help you tremendously and you want to um, put the timeline in there so you right here you click and you hold and you drag and you place it to where you want that way you have the timeline here and the keyframing up here and your materials here and it'll make it easier for you to uh, work on it so I'm going to delete this one I'm going to move it to 10 and of course I already named all my guy my um, joints and stuff so I'm going to go to right arm rotate it if you just rotate one you can hit keyframe and you got it but what if you rotate a whole bunch say arm left Oh, I'm going to abs. I'm going to make her bend a little bit. And now hit keyframe. It when you do that, it only records the first the last thing you did. So the first thing I did was the arm, but it didn't record it. It just recorded the last thing I did. So when you do multiple things and you forget to hit the keyframe. So let's do uh arm right oops arm left we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff I see abs oh she's going to move up to whoops whoa that's not what I want if you hit yang then it moves up okay so now I did a whole bunch of stuff 
Now how do I save it all, all of it? You just click on Yang, you right click, and you select children. So it selects everything. Now you hit keyframe and everything you did will be saved. As a matter of fact, it's good for you to um, like select children and then hit keyframe. You just make it a habit of doing it. But that's basically how keyframe animation works. So uh, message me if you need any questions. But thanks for watching.